there, beautiful beings, and welcome to my sacred space. My name is Raven, and thank you so much for being here. Tonight, we're going to do another pick a card reading for people who are in a no contact situation. We are asking Spirit to have a look or a peek at your person's energies right now to find out if they still love you or what they're feeling right now towards you, right? Please know that my readings are all timeless, so whenever you find this specific video, that is when you are meant to receive this guidance. Also, these are general, so you know not everything will resonate with you, so please use your discernment to find out which guidance is indeed for you. If it doesn't resonate, um, maybe select another pile, but don't stress too much about it, all right? I would like to ask you to please focus your gaze on the crystals in front of you right now, as well as the tar decks, and whichever one pulls at you the most, please select that one. That way, your intuition will be working with mine as a form of energy exchange, and we can get a more accurate reading for you. So for group number one, we have this um, clear quartz crystal and the everyday witch tarot. Group number two, we have this smoky quartz crystal and the before tarot. For group number three, we have this raw labradorite um, and the modern spellcaster's tarot. Once you have selected your pile, we're going to proceed with your readings. Hello there, beautiful beings from group number one. If your intuition guided you to select this clear quartz crystal or the everyday witch tarot, this is going to be your reading. Kindly be reminded that my readings are all timeless, so whenever you find this video, that is when you are meant to receive this guidance from Spirit. Also, these are general, so please um, don't worry so much if the reading does not resonate with you. Perhaps select another pile or use your discernment to find out which part of the reading is indeed for you. Tonight, we're asking Spirit, does your person still love you? So this is for couples or, you know, people who are um, in separation. And we're asking Spirit for um, the energy surrounding your person right now, if they still feel love for you. Okay, thank you so much, angels and spirit guides. Truly grateful for your guidance, presence, and protection. Calling on Angel Metatron for your guidance as well. Thank you so much, I'm truly grateful. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Seven of Wands, the High Priestess, King of Swords, and the Six of... Wow, okay. Alright, well, in the past there was a family here. I, I'm guessing you could be married, you could have been, or you could still be married to this person, but there's some sort of like a separation that occurred because of a Three of Swords moment. So there's a lot of heart heartache. That has happened here it doesn't specify what that's let's ask later but let me just paint the picture with you and your person in the past you know the ten of pentacles is really kind of like one of the best cards that you can get out of the tarot you know i mean if you're seeking for happy family um what else like uh like your um like a harmonious family life you know like everything it's kind of like you know, it's it's a card that shows that, you know, you have people here who will continue your legacy, you know. So I feel like you had a happy home with this person at some point. But something caused the Three of Swords here. Okay, I'm sensing a lot of heartache though, you know. Um, for some reason, I feel like this is because of what was hidden. Okay, perhaps there was something that was hidden. And intuitively, I'm picking up on something that, you know, because the journal is kind of like signifying that this, that there's something that was hidden that was kind of like brought to light that led to a lot of heartache. So I'm not really sure what it is, but you know it. Um, it has something to do with words. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe you found out or, you know, uh, maybe a secret was kind of like, um, um, uncovered here. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm, I'm also being connected to the King of Swords, so maybe we'll talk about that later. But what is it, Spirit? Page of Cups. Hmm. Could there be... Why is it... What is coming through, Spirit? Okay. Not going to be for everyone, but I'm sensing there's some sort of like... um. An admirer, 
and the other person per perhaps got jealous you know it, it, having an admirer doesn't mean that you are already cheating okay you or your person okay um take it how it resonates um okay having an admirer does not equate to the person who has the admirer as cheating because as long as that person you know does not entertain the admirer then it's not that person's fault i'm not sure if it's you or your person but there's someone here who who's kind of like who attracted somebody else you know subconsciously or not even purposefully okay and the other person found out and it kind of like caused a rift in the relationship maybe a little bit of trust was broken but i'm seeing that this is unfounded because this is just an admirer um presently someone in the re yeah okay it's painting a picture now presently someone in the relationship and i'm sensing your person is kind of like trying to defend themselves as best as they can you know they're doing their best to kind of like show that you are still kind of like the um the cut above the rest they're going to show it to you they're really doing their best to express that and the fact that you know look at this this person here they're up against perhaps a cliff but they're they're standing their ground so this is someone who's kind of like also sticking to their guns this person doesn't they want to defend themselves and to show you that you're really really important to them but right now they, they don't want to get into it you know what i mean like okay i love you and i want to be with you however you know there are just some points here that you know you need to know but i feel like you know you, this person isn't able to pick, i feel like once this person tells you something you throw so many different things at them that you know they're unable to speak and that's the reason why you know you feel like this this person feels like okay you know what i'm just gonna keep everything a secret because if i tell them something they're gonna use it against me moving forward in the future okay so i'm sensing some of you would be thinking oh gosh you know that's something that i do <laughs> so you know take it how it resonates but i feel like yes you know this person's kind of like thinking uh, I'm not gonna spill everything, you know, because I feel like once I do, they're just they're gonna use it to me moving forward. That's the energy that's coming through. But they do love you. They wanna come in and apologize. They wanna come in and give you the love that you deserve, that you need. And because they love you, they they wanna rush in, okay? But right now, they're just really focused on defending themselves because yes you know it's good it's good that your person is kind of like um they're not just caving in do you know what i mean like if you're with someone who, who doesn't have you know a spine and who's unable to defend themselves then i don't know at least your person has um the courage to stand up to you even though they love you even though they you know they um, have immense feelings towards you Th this your person loves himself too you know in order for them to stand up for themselves like that but the knight of cups here just signifies that this person despite look at that despite of the dangers of coming forward to you right now because they they know that you're kind of like pissed off <laughs> instead of them kind of like fearing the possibility that they might fall even the cat gosh the cat might fall and there's a freaking shark underneath or under the water do you know what i mean but despite all of that this person is just coming forward and eagerly hoping for a reconciliation and to have you back in their life so that's a pretty good sign here that's what they're contemplating on right now that's where their head is at okay moving forward oh, um uh, in the future i see you and this person kind of like you know this diary over here this journal over here i feel like whatever secrets that journal held in the past and you know also that the high priestess was hiding in the past is going to come out in the open okay perhaps your person is definitely going to speak up and they're probably going to show you the whatever the the text messages the photos the letters or whatever they're definitely going to give you the truth and the clarity that you need okay this is someone who's going to be able to really express how they truly feel okay this is someone who's going to you know give you uh, show you um that they do have integrity you know 
like here are the receipts <laughs> i feel like this person is gonna do that and we have the six of cups over here so definitely some sort of reconciliation between you and your person so i see it as a good sign you know this um i see it as a good sign and i'm also being drawn to the lily pads here which means that you know sometimes you know things can be murky but there will there will always something that's beautiful will always come out as beautiful you know what i mean like yes you know a lily um, a pad or a lotus can they cut they they in murky water even if it's murky water it will still remain beautiful do you know what i mean even if it's surrounded by dirt and mud and you know all of that the purity of your love will stand the test of time ten of wands yes the ten of wands here don't be afraid i'm not sensing like the ten of wands like being overwhelmed and all of that no the energy that's coming through here is i feel like once you have decided to communicate with your person and once your person has you know really expressed their you know how they truly feel and their thoughts and all of that and you know made sure that hey you know we're, we're not going to keep secrets from each other anymore you know the reason why i tried to kept the secret to keep it a secret from you is because I know that this is how you will react and I don't want you to feel that way because this is really nothing. You know, maybe that is maybe that's really even a part of a conversation that you had in the first with this person in the past, you know? But the ten of wands here signifies that this is going to be the ending of a tough time. Okay? So that is what it is that's the energy that's coming through from this card i feel like the both of you will will definitely continue moving forward but you are both going to release the heavy burden that the both of you are kind of like carrying you know the doubts and all of that it's really difficult to um navigate yourself through both of, navigate your relationship through loss of trust but i feel like there's really nothing here that would signify that this person cheated on you or you know i'm really sensing this is just um overthinking anxiety and all of that and i feel like if you have open communication with your person it's going to be a lot easier do you know what i mean let's get more cards for you oh this one first why am i feeling hot right now i'm sensing i'm i'm, I'm kind of like feverish it's Oops, sorry. That is strange. Let's get more cards for you. What else, spirit? Forgiveness, love. Oh, blank slate, love, and unchained love. Yes, yes, yes. So there's going to be reconciliation here. I'm seeing a blank slate. You know what, when I said earlier about... Um, starting over and healing you know um the the trust it's hard to navigate like i said i just said it like maybe a minute ago it's going to be um a challenging task but i feel like that the both of you will be able to really overcome this because we have the blank card you know and the blank card for me means tabula rasa or it means clean slate i feel like that is what's going to happen and i don't see that because in most people like if the trust has been broken in past relationships um some people would feel the need to you know hold on to their partner even tighter do you know what i mean like hey you know if um if a, if my partner cheated on me for example and you decided to stick with that person um you know you instead of like the trust being back you're kind of be a little bit more um heightened or on alert for anything that kind of like seems off i mean that's kind of like um the usual human reaction i guess um but i don't see that here with you or your person there's unchained love here so i'm sensing a lot of forgiveness is going to happen here you know i feel like you are going to forgive your partner and your partner is going to forgive you and there's not gonna be um mistrust because i feel like if you have chained love you know you're then you're not free and when you're not free that's because the other person is kind of like always checking up on you and all of that i sense that there's not going to be anything like that in um your relationship here let me see what else do we need to know spirit what else do we need to know spirit what else is coming through for group number one please Group number one, please, spirit. Control. 
yes okay so in the past you know perhaps like i said i sense that you know this is an admirer who perhaps contacted your person or perhaps told your person how they feel about them and you know you feel like you're losing control of your person and the situation that in fact you know your person doesn't have control over their admirer's actions too do you know what i mean so maybe release some of that control and um because that is what kind of like broke the relationship or caused the three of swords over there do you know what i mean let's see anything else spirit outcome yes i feel like the both of you you will get look at that you will get a resolution and the both of you right now are thinking of the outcome of the situation i feel like the both of you are manifesting to the six of um you're manifesting the six of cups to come back together and reconciliate um sorry reconcile um so yeah i feel like it's just a matter of time until the both of you kind of like are in you know are back in each other's arms I'm sensing a lot of love in this relationship. Maybe. Gosh, that's too much. Oh gosh. I'm sorry. Just one card, spirit. Just one card. No. Let me just shuffle it again. I just need one card, spirit. One card for group number one, Spirit. Vibration. Energy and positivity. Raise your vibration to attract what you desire. And I feel like, yes, that is something that the both of you are trying to manifest right now along with the outcome. So a positive vibration, you know, it will definitely bring you happiness moving forward. I think, you know, it's very important to kind of like f face this um, meeting um, with a lot of positivity. If you're going to focus on the past and, your, and the hurt and all of that and instead of like okay make sure that when you decide to talk to this person or when this person finally uh, um, comes to you and says and say you know hey let, let's talk about this let's work on it um try not to come with a negative vibration you know what i mean like if you if you come in and just you know they're gonna be defensive again and you're gonna start this process again okay so what's important is you know once they're ready to talk allow them to talk okay please allow them to talk because your person feels a little bit helpless whenever they try to communicate with you you throw so many things back at them and that is what the spirit is trying to tell me so don't hate on me for that message okay so yeah but you know it's always best to be in a positive vibration you know we can get um, our manifest manifestations quicker that way and at the same time you remain happy so you know be mindful of your vibration as well okay anything else that would like to come through spirit intuition is that two cards wisdom and opportunity yes the opportunity for the both of you to kind of like um open up to each other is going to come in okay you know it deeper than your gut that you know you are gonna have another chance at this you know and once you do use the wisdom that you have gathered from this time alone or t time in separation use it to your advantage okay um and by that i mean i'm sh pretty sure you learned something about yourself and your person during this time of separation and make sure that you apply it to your relationship okay you, you're facing a great opportunity here to restart to start fresh so make sure that you know the tidbits or the pearls of wisdom that you gathered from this breakup from this separation um you'll use it you put it to good use okay now to end this reading i just want to get um, an advice card for the both of you does your person love you let me just answer that definitely <laughs> definitely which card angels and spirit guys can you please give me one more card as an advice card oh. don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only being for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others there you go that's the advice for you okay oh my god this one came out as well secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on and i feel like yeah that should go under there 
but again you know it doesn't mean anything the secret admirer wanted to fly out along with the discard so you know don't be as long as your person is not entertaining that you know the secret admirer <laughs> you don't have to worry so much about it okay and yeah don't make decisions built on based on guilt you know you know what i mean and also don't guilt the other person too as well because that's that's manipulative but i'm pretty sure you already know that i just wanted to put it out there again don't hate on me this is a very straightforward reading thank you so much for being here if this reading helped you in some way or if you gained some sort of like insight from it please let me know in the comment section below i would love to know if it resonated with you please consider giving this video a like if it helped you in any way or please subscribe to my channel for future readings like this thank you so much group number one and i hope to see you again soon in one of my future videos bye hello there beautiful beings from group number two if your intuition guided you to select this smoky quartz crystal this is going to be your reading kindly be reminded that all of the readings that i do on my channel are timeless so whenever this video shows up on your feed that is when you are meant to receive this guidance from spirit also these are general so you know not everything will fit your situation so please be mindful of the advice that you're getting or you know just um check if the reading resonates with you if it does then well and good if it doesn't don't worry too much about it maybe select a different pile okay right we're asking spirit today does your person still love you and this is for people who are um in separation okay Thank you so much, angels and spirit guides. I'm truly grateful for your presence, protection, and guidance. Calling on Angel Metatron for his protection and guidance. So can you please help me read for group number two for their highest good? What do they need to know most about their person? Does their person still love them, angels and spirit guides? Thank you so much. What do they need to know? Thank you so much. Queen of Cups. Page of Swords. Strength. Ten of Swords. Queen of Wands. Hmm. Hmm. And the Six of Cups. Well, I feel like in the past, one person in the relationship has been a complete sweetheart. Do you know what I mean? And But the problem in the past is that I'm really sensing that there's some sort of like um unexpected news that occurred, you know, in this relationship. I'm not sensing anything bad. Why have why did you break up though? Okay. One person could have been a little bit too possessive in this relationship because I'm sensing that, you know, they see you as the queen of cups, okay? You know, this is someone who who values you completely okay this is someone who who knows your worth this is someone who understands how you know um nurturing and loyal you are how important you are in their life okay i know i said queen of cups but of course you know male or female this is not gender specific we're talking about the energies here and that is how your person saw you but there is some sort of like um an unexpected news and with you know i asked like what is the reason you know someone was a little bit too possessive in this relationship and i feel like your person was the one who was kind of like more gripping onto you more do you know what i mean like this is someone who kind of like wants uh what they want and you know if they don't get it they kind of like get upset you know if this is this is exactly their um the personality if your person then continue reading because you know this is what's really coming off strong here with the four of um um pentacles here i'm sensing that you know this person was yeah a little bit too you know um greedy of their t um of you normally i would say that this person is greedy of their time but i feel like this person is kind of like greedy of you so this would be someone who who's yeah like a little bit too possessive doesn't want you to see your friends your family wants you to be with them always you know what i mean so yeah take it how it resonates but i'm sensing that that is the type of person that they are is someone who would get mad at you if you don't reply easily okay and i guess the reason for that is because they fear losing you 
they truly see your worth and your value and i feel like that's what's propelling them to kind of like tighten their grip on you and that is not really a good thing you know a healthy relationship requires trust in both parties do you know what i mean so when you trust your person you don't really you know have to imprison them in a way so yeah i feel like like i said earlier there's some sort of like unexpected news that occurred maybe your person i don't know could have been stalking you as well i don't know like yeah i'm sensing uh yeah some sort of like a an energy like that currently since you have broken up you know your person is feeling a lot betrayed <laughs> they or since you and your person aren't talking you know they're feeling a lot betrayed get a lot of hurt okay but this person is not showing it clearly you know this person is really employing all the strength that they have within themselves to not show it because as, apart from them being you know possessive this is someone who values how they look towards uh, other people do you know what i mean like this is someone who who really kind of like takes stock of you know how do people see me you know their image is very very important to them so despite all the hurt that they have been experiencing you know they're gonna try to not show it okay but i feel like this person keeps coming back to the hurt that they're feeling this is where they are right now they're really using their strength to kind of like forget what has happened like the breakup and all of that they're really really trying their best you know but they are in in pain they are in pain anything else yes and they are keeping themselves stuck okay your person there's a lot of emotions here but i see it's broken you see the water here that is you know that represents emotions i feel like your person is doing their best to drain themselves out of all the love that they felt for you all the feelings that they have for you but what they're doing is you know by trying to purge all of that they're kind of like remembering more things about you and the relationship and instead of kind of like allowing themselves to heal further this person is putting themselves in a in a complicated situation because they're they're keeping themselves stuck you know what i mean like they're they're thinking about this over and over again within their head in their heads they're putting themselves in a compromising position without realizing it that's what they're doing in the future um there's a queen of wands here so i feel like i would say initially in the future that your person will meet another person but we also have the six of cups here so the six of cups could mean you know they're gonna come back or maybe you're gonna come back to the relationship basically someone someone they've known for a long time you know um so i'm sensing maybe the both of you will meet or perhaps talk about the relationship or talk about how it happened or what went wrong so there's a possibility for reconciliation here but you know i would ask you to please reconsider though not really like i'm not i'm not i don't have anything um i don't know like i don't have any right to tell you like okay don't do this right but you know if this person is really kind of like bordering on toxic because of how possessive they are then e you know what to do do you know what i mean like yes you can talk to them i guess you know maybe they have changed or whatever but it's up to you but just be careful and be mindful yes there's going to be a lot of decisions that you will need to take moving forward um as regards to this relationship and i feel like um when you do talk you know you're going to express everything um you know because someone here and i feel like it's your person has been in denial for the longest time you know what i mean but they're ready to come and see you to talk to you and you know just to face their fears you know with the two of swords here that's the energy that i'm getting you're you're both inching your way to um calmer waters like i said earlier but um be mindful okay don't jump right back into a relationship with this person if you feel like um, assess the situation you know if you're happier without this person then really you know do you really want to be in a relationship with someone who's you know who's, who's a lot possessive but if that's not your person then you know up to you <laughs> i'm just giving you what spirit is saying so let's get more cards for you group number two what else do we need to know 
Group number two. What else do we need tonight, please? Ah, family love. Can't buy me love and manifested love. Okay. I feel like this person um, feels like you're their family. Maybe you do have a family. Maybe you have a family together. Maybe you have kids together or whatever. I hope you're not in a and that you know in, a, in an abusive relationship but yes this person um they see you as their family okay maybe you've been with them for a long time but there's definitely some sort of like the familiar kind of love do you know what i mean i'm also getting that from the six of cups can't buy me love like i said you know maybe this person has been buying your love i mean i'm, I'm just suddenly reminded of you know j-lo's video <laughs> from the 90s is it the 90s or 2000s um that love don't cost love don't cost a thing i think that that just suddenly popped in my mind so i feel like this is someone who's they're very possessive of you but you know i feel like they're also trying to buy your love do you know what i mean like this is someone who's kind of like hey you know you don't need to go out with your friends i'm gonna buy you this i'm, I'm gonna uh, give you this or you know they kind of like use their their money to express their love to buy you things and all of that um, the reason for that is because they feel like you are their dream guy their dream girl this is their uh, this is how they show their love this is how they communicate their love and you know th they feel like they have manifested the type or the person the person of their dreams you know and that's i guess this person just really need to kind of like change um how they um relate to you do you know what i mean see we have destruction here and it kind of like wanted to go there that's it there's this in the past yeah it was a lot of destruction i feel like both of you kind of like had a lot of arguments as regards to that I feel like you really don't appreciate how they are and maybe if if you decide to meet up with them and talk to them again and you know because here we have kind of like um you know they're you know facing their fears of communicating with you again and talking to you and this is an opportunity for you to express how you truly feel how you want that you know hey you know what um I guess maybe this is someone who experienced being abandoned as a child you know that's why they have that some sort of like the anxiety or love addict relationship style so maybe that's why they're kind of like that because they're afraid to lose someone that they truly love do you know what i mean and instead of like being open and being caring and being you know um fair being fair not a fair being fair to the person that they love by giving them the time and space and freedom that you know they need um this person does the opposite because they're so freaking afraid to let go or to kind of like lose their grip on you because they're afraid to lose you and i feel like as soon as you're able to express to this person how you truly feel about them you know that you love them and um assuming that you still love them and you want to be a relationship with them you can always say that hey you know what i think um the reason in the past that you know we didn't work it's because i felt that you were choking me and there was no reason for that i never cheated on you blah blah blah, blah. so just be like really communicate and express everything that you need to express if you decide to talk to this person and maybe that is when you know the healing can begin because i'm seeing a lot of destruction in the past you know what i mean loss yes right now your person is experiencing a lot of loss they're grieving your loss they you know they really needed to you know practice strength because a lot has been um removed from you know their heart they feel like a piece of their heart has been removed that's how much this person loves you and they're just in, in that energy of loss transformation yes moving forward that that is what you're gonna get transformation do you know do you know what i mean like once you get to talk this is going to be like the the breakthrough that the both of you need in order for you to move forward in in your relationship okay it is in the card so you know you 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 hold the key 
you know, if you want to speak to this person or with this person again, and if they are bold enough to communicate with you, then you know what to do. This reading is is the perfect um, guide for you because we now you know how they truly feel about you and you know why they're doing that to you, why they were a little bit too condescending, a little bit too tight, a little bit, you know, choking. <laughs> so... You know, now it would be easier for you to communicate how you truly feel and what you really want in the relationship. Devotion, yes. This person was extremely, and is still, extremely devoted to you. I feel like overly devoted to you. So maybe when you talk to them and really express to them how you, you, know, you want to be loved, then this person will be a little bit more malleable. Do you know what I mean? You can prob probably help them change protection this person really like i said earlier you know this person was holding on to you tightly because they were protecting you they are afraid and at the same time protecting themselves because they're afraid that if you know if they lose their grip on you you're gonna go with someone else and you know that's not really a good thing compassion yes have compassion for this person i'm not saying that they're you know a bad seed and all of that like i said earlier you know because spirit comes and spirit gives me the messages as i go along you know so earlier i said do you really want to be with this person but you know eventually they kind of like opened up i don't even remember what i say when i'm channeling anyway so yeah this childhood wounds you know be a little bit compassionate to this person and i feel like you are um but just you know um this person experienced a lot of hurt when they were you know a kid loss you know um, abandonment so um maybe give them a little bit of compassion or you know um allow them to express what they truly feel or you know what happened to them not do not pry but you know once they open up just show them compassion and tell them you know hey or give them reassurance you know what i mean like that comes with the compassion and to end this reading, let me just give you an advice card. Spirit, what do they need to know most? What advice do you have? That one didn't want to come out. What does it say though? Okay, let's get it. It says, my beloved, though we may be... Though, I apologize. My beloved... Though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we're always united. For love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. Okay, so yes, your person is still very much in love with you. They are eager to get back with you. Right now, they're experiencing a lot of hurt and pain. But I feel like, you know, eventually, once you get to meet or you, once you get to talk to this person again, you can tell them how you truly feel and maybe that can pave the way to reconciliation and healing for the both of you. That is what I have for you, group. Number two, I hope this reading helped you in some way. If it did, please let me know in the comment section below how this reading resonated with you. Please consider giving this video a like or subscribing to my channel for future videos like this. Thank you so much and I hope I see you again soon. Bye! Hello there, beautiful beings from group number three. If your intuition guided you to select this raw labradorite, that's so pretty or the modern spellcaster tarot. this is going to be your reading just want to show you the flash kind of be reminded that my readings are timeless so whenever you find this video that is when you are meant to receive this guidance from the spirit also these are general so please only take what resonates with you in your situation and leave the rest behind try not to force anything okay use your discernment and your intuition to find out whether the guidance is indeed for you okay tonight we're asking spirit does your person still love you so this is for couples who are in separation they have broken up cool off who have you know just stopped talking to each other so we're going to find out if the love is still there thank you so much angels and spirit guys for your guidance protection and presence can you please help me read for group number three please what guidance do they need to hear right now Calling on Angel Metatron. Thank you so much. Truly grateful. Please help me read for group number three, please. Group number three. Eight of Wands. Queen of Wands. Knight of Cups. The Star. King of Wands. And the Two of Cups. Okay. 
All right, I feel like, you know what happened with you and your person in the past? It's something that was rash, okay? This is something that was just suddenly, it was, um, suddenly was just, you know, done, I guess. You know, this is something that wasn't, it didn't build up over time. I feel like this is an impulsive move, okay? Because I'm seeing a lot of passion. Maybe this is kind of like um, the energy that's coming through here is because, you know, this could have been some sort of like a miscommunication on your part, right? Or, you know, maybe your person said something that was kind of like harsh or whatever out of passion, out of anger, you know, because passion is, it, 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 it gives you hate and it gives you anger and it gives you love as well. You know, love or how do I say it? Um, hate is not um, the opposite or, yeah, hate is not the opposite of love. Indifference is, you know what I mean? Love and hate, you know, there's just a very fine or thin border between the two because these two are passionate emotions do you know what i mean if if the other person doesn't love you anymore just not going to be hate it's going to be indifference or apathy and what i'm sensing here is i feel like yes the both of you are very passionate towards each other very very passionate but at the same time sometimes you get a lot of miscommunication like i feel like and it's swift you know it's something that suddenly oh my gosh you know you're fighting all of a sudden and that's because you have a lot of passion towards each other that is what's coming through and i feel like you are both independent and you have very strong personalities okay i feel like the both of you have that and you are you are um very straightforward and at the same time you know i i feel like <laughs> what's wrong what's wrong magnus i feel like you are you're not afraid to speak your mind, okay? And your person too. I'm so sorry. Magnus. Baby. I know. What's wrong? Yeah, what's up? I apologize for the interruption. Okay. So yeah, like I said, the both of you are very, very passionate towards you towards each other you know that is something that's very strong and very potent i see the both of you are are very independent as well so yeah i guess you know i guess this could just be like a minor squabble and i feel like it one thing led to another and because of the surge of emotions you might have said you or your person might have said some things that kind of like uh set a trigger or you know yeah, i'm sensing but i feel like an apology is coming in really really soon okay really really soon expect it super fast because this is what's going on right now i feel like your person you know knight of cups coming in i feel like your person is really just thinking about the situation about what has happened you know they're thinking they're remembering the romance that they have with you you know and they want to apologize they want to come in and give you their cup of love and apologize and say hey you know what i'm so sorry about the things that i said um i really do love you and i want to heal this connection because the star card is here you know so i feel like there's hope here they're hoping for a miracle that despite everything that they said despite all of the painful things that they have expressed towards you know this person still loves you very very much and they want to heal this they want harmon a harmonious relationship with you moving forward as well so i guess the both of you just need to perhaps um be mindful of the things that you say to each other moving forward we have the king of wands here so i guess there's still going to be some sort of like a very very passionate connection to both of you i apologize <laughs> yeah definitely you know we have you know partnership or counterparts here you know king of wands is here so <laughs> yes passion is still going to be there however i feel like the both of you are going to be more mindful of how you treat each other how you communicate with each other because i see that the both of you really value this connection you really value each other you really value this union okay the two of cups being here i see each other as you know you see each other as soulmates and i'm seeing i'm being drawn to this um turtle here so i feel like you both of you will eventually develop some sort of like a hard shell to not you, you know so you, you don't get immediately hurt with what the other person said you know you know what i mean i feel like the both of you are going to eventually realize that you know it is your personality to talk fast to talk um um quite harshly of each other but i think you know i think 
more than you know developing the hard shell moving forward i feel like what's important here is for you to talk to each other with respect and love and be mindful of the things that you say i feel yes i know i understand because you sometimes i am impulsive as well but what's really important is you know if you truly love your partner the other person in the relationship you, you know you, you you try not to hurt them with your words okay and with actions definitely you know <laughs> but yeah that's that's what's coming through here anything else strength Yes, like I said, right? I said that earlier. The both of you are very, very strong, and I see that, you know. And there's fire here as well, which shows um, that you, you and your person are very passionate. Uh, I'm being drawn to the mountain as well, and I see, you know, the mountain can also mean obstacles. I feel like you know you are going to find the strength to overcome obstacles. Um, yeah, and gosh. I just wanted to say that this woman is just so freaking sexy. So, you know, I don't know why I wanted to say that. The Empress. Yes, your person sees you as their Empress. Regardless of if you like your, your, if you're a female or male, I feel like your person really sees you as, you know, this... The Empress energy is someone who's nurturing, someone who's loving, you know, the very, very... Um, how do I say that? Like, very loyal and fertile and you know abundant of love i feel like you know your person sees all of that with you and that's the reason why they want to come in and this empress is also strangely holding a, uh, a shield so i feel like your person wants to protect you and the love that you have do you know what i mean that's the energy that's coming through like this card yes i'm also being drawn to the ring like i've never seen other um empress cards with wedding rings but maybe you are married to this person or maybe they truly see you as their counterpart like their their spouse or maybe they will be proposing soon or maybe that's what they're you know maybe the proposal the um knight of cups is actually coming in with a proposal i don't know um let's see <laughs> king of cups okay there you go so from the king of cups from the king of wands we have the king of cups so this is someone who's very loyal someone who's very careful with their words someone who speaks um kindly someone who's filled with wisdom you know a generous person who's unafraid to express their love you know this person knows how to set boundaries and at the same time they know when to give love and i feel like eventually you and your person once you have overcome this situation the both of you will be vibrating in this energy of the ten of cups and that is such 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 an amazing um energy to be in i feel like the both of you will be allowing yourselves to you know um, be in love without the excess passion you know what i mean because that's something that was really coming out in the relationship you know um in the reading rather um yeah let's see what else is coming through spirit do what you love blank slate divorce love okay so uh, i'm sensing earlier could be marriage um like i said huh. why is divorce love here spirit what's coming through Okay, for some of you, maybe this is an opportunity to start fresh, okay? Um, maybe this person could be tied with another person right now, like legally, and maybe they're finalizing a divorce, you know, take it how it resonates, it's not going to be for everyone, but what I'm sensing here is I feel like you're going to be a little bit more um, open, to expressing your love to each other you know without the passion like i said and look at this person she's kind of like kicking um the the sea and you know um, this is kind of like reminding me of how the king of cups is submerged um his feet are submerged underwater which shows that you know this person is not afraid to go deep with their emotion i feel like that is also coming through here with you and your person i feel like you are 
still going to be yourself but at the same time there's going to be a blank i call this a blank or uh, blank slate or a tabula rasa this is my um clean slate card okay i feel like the both of you are going to start fresh and that's a good thing you know what i mean like I really, I'm, I'm quite confused about this i'm gonna get one more card unchained love one more scars of love oh my gosh i f <sighs> take it out resonates but i feel like maybe one of you were in a in a were married or was married before but Or maybe the both of you were married before and you're carrying some baggage from the past, like past relationships. Maybe that's why you're kind of like a little bit too um, harsh with your words towards each other. And, what, and, and, you know, Spirit is saying that in order for you to kind of like move forward um, and release that energy is to have unchained love. Like to not feel like you're, give the other person freedom and allow them to do what they love because... That's the only way for you to move forward with a clean slate, okay? I don't, I'm not really sure about this energy and this energy and sometimes, oftentimes, like whenever I do my readings, <laughs> something would, will not make sense to me, but it will make sense to the current. So I'm not really sure. Maybe this is a message specifically for someone out there. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's see more spirit can we get more messages for the collective please the collective please don't allow the scars of your past love to kind of like from a divorce like if in your past life or past love you know don't allow the scars to make you feel like you're broken or make you feel that you are unable to start fresh or start a new love or that make you feel that okay this is a ghost that will forever haunt me like whatever hurt in the past it's not it doesn't mean that it has to follow you in whatever relationship you have, okay? Unchain yourself from any of that hurt, any of that baggage, so that you can do whatever you love moving forward and have a clean slate with this person. Sorry, I just got delayed with the download. Anything else that's coming through, Spirit? Home. Yes, you feel like home, and this person feels like home to you. You know, you're very at home with each other, and sometimes maybe that's the reason why you kind of like speak that way to each other. I'm not saying that people who are kind of like, because you know, familiarity breeds hate. Is that correct? <laughs> but I feel like, you know, you're so at home with this person that, you know, you feel like you can say anything and you can talk how you've, you know, you can really express how you truly feel but sometimes you know it's not really a good thing because well just be mindful of the things that you say i feel because you know it's it's so sad to let go of a person who feels like home just because of the things that you you the words that you use towards each other so i guess it doesn't it's not just for you okay that's for the both of you and i feel like you mirror each other with how you talk so maybe i don't know compromise yes 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 you need to compromise you need to have a mutual understanding okay of how you want to move forward with this i feel like the both of you really do love each other and you know you're both i feel like you're feeling this as well the hope for a miracle or kind of like healing maybe maybe empress card with the ring maybe also marriage moving forward but i feel like it takes the both of you you know to compromise on this like maybe talk definitely talk you know most often than not issues that we have in a relationship can be sorted out with communication so loss okay yes i feel like um loss of self and identity and discover your true self again like i said you know from the past because you know this image kind of like immediately remind me reminded me of this the energy that's coming through here is i feel like you know the both of you have experienced some sort of like a hurt in the past or um, trauma in your past relationship made you a little bit hard or tough do you know what i mean that's why you kind of like speak that way or you um 
I don't know, there's something to do with communication here. And I feel like um, what has happened to you or your person in the past changed you and you kind of like lost yourself you lost your innocence you know what i mean i feel like that is what has happened here so i feel like what you need to do right now is just compromise and go back to your true self go back go back to your loving self you know you don't always have to be like the the, the king or queen of wands who's just so strong and independent and just it's okay to depend on someone else it's okay to accept love it's okay to love someone and i feel like that is what you need to do you know overcome the loss of your old self and try to regain the positive sides of your old self because i feel like um you're just um how to say that you're still reeling from the trauma of past relationships and all of that or maybe you're just really protecting trying to protect yourself to pr you know avoid being hurt but discover your true self again that is what this card is saying anything else spirit would like to come through please affinity death patience one more protection okay hmm I'm so sorry. Wow, my throat is suddenly... <coughs> I'm so sorry. I had to mute that part because I was just really coughing. The death part here, I feel like, is for this part, you know? Death does not always equate to, like, a, an ending, like darkness, you know? Death can mean transformation. And I feel like that is what something that you really need to do. Compromise and transform, Okay gotta put that there patience with each other is definitely needed because i feel like you have been protecting yourself too much okay there's nothing wrong with protecting yourself but you know be mindful of the things that you say and i, I feel like you do have an, an affinity with each other so it's not gonna be easy and maybe that's the reason why that you know they feel like home to you you know there's this intense bond between the two of you so i feel like does your person love you definitely you know that's the question that we wanted to know and we found out more but yeah definitely so um let's see to end this reading i'm just gonna pull an advice card for you um spirit may you please ask for an advice just one card please one card for group number three what do they need to know right now spirit forgiveness gosh Stop focusing your energy on past events. Life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. I'm gonna put this here because I feel like that sums up everything here, you know? Forgiveness. Just forgive each other, man. You know, I feel like the both of you really love each other. You just have to really focus on moving past the past. Do you know what I mean? Like The past is there for you to gather wisdom you know learn from your mistakes don't bring your mistakes in your new relationships yes it's okay to protect yourself and to kind of like you know set some boundaries and but be mindful as well you don't want to hurt the new person that you're with because of past mistakes from a past person you know so yeah i hope you were able to gain some guidance from this reading and i hope it resonated with you in some way if it did please let me know in the comment section below or please consider liking this video or sharing with sharing it with a friend or maybe subscribe to my channel for future readings like this thank you so much for being here group number three and i hope i see you again soon in one of my future videos bye